I'm Antoine, and today I'm going to go over how to set up centrifugal or ring world gravity inside of Unreal Engine 4. Um, so I just have the third person example map uh, with the ninja player character enabled, plugin enabled. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the geometry tab and we're going to create our cylinder. Um, so I just feel like going overboard a bit, so realize you can do this at a much smaller scale, but I'm going to go to like, let's say a million. This is going to be a very big ring. I'm going to turn up my camera speed all the way to 8. One thing I should have done is, you know, we're going to want to turn this up to like... That probably still isn't even enough, but it's going to have to work. I don't want to go too high. Oh, in fact, 500 is the max. Uh, if you want something bigger, you're probably going to have to make it yourself in a, some 3D modeling program. Might even have to be multiple meshes. Uh, I'm just going to pull it ring, and we're going to stick it in the geometry folder. Uh, and we're going to delete it from here. And we're going to go create a new actor. Call it ring BP. First thing we do is add the static mesh dot ring, and we are going to grab our rings. I want to set the rotation to 90 on Y, and we're going to switch to the front. Okay, then we're going to deselect the ring, and we're going to find the spline. Uh, make sure it's the utility one. Uh, okay, then we're, we're just going to right click it and we're going to do spline generation. We want the circle. And I don't even know how many points we want. Um, I'm going to do 1024. It's probably too much. Okay, that shows up. Uh, I'm not sure how performance is going to be on this, um, so we're just going to hope this goes well. I'm going to switch to perspective. Okay, I'm going to recreate the sphere or the ring the spline. good. So we're going to X that out. We're going to select the spline. Okay, this time it moves. So we're making progress. I'm going to switch back to front. And I would say that you'd probably need to make the spline a little bigger than the ring, just so that it doesn't act weird when you're because if you're slightly under it, it's not gonna it's gonna try and flip you the opposite. So you'll be walking on the outside of the ring. Or at least that's what it will think. Okay, that needs to be twenty-four. 
twelve or one point two million. Probably want this to be ninety. Yeah. Next, we're gonna add a box collision. This is really didn't need to be big. And you really don't need to make yours this big, just make sure all of the values kind of match up. That I think. And that one didn't need to be that big. We can probably get away with like 50,000. Uh, but we should probably check. Oh uh, yeah, 50,000 too much. We can go to 20,000. It's only a 10,000 ring. Okay. So that's all we're going to do here for now. Next, we're going to go ahead and create a new blueprint class. And we want to drop down all class classes and look for the ninja uh, character. Uh, you can probably get away with using the ninja player character, uh, but this is still none of these. Okay, before we go here, we're going to go into the content, and we're going to find the ninja player content. The ninja character and the blueprints, and I'm just going to go to the ninja player character. And I want to copy and paste all the movement functionality. The third person ones won't work, so we are going to need these. After that, we can just go back to where we're putting all our stuff. And we will paste them. Okay, then we're going to go to the class defaults and we want to enable capsule rotates control rotation. We're going to get a character movement component and a line component to gravity. Uh, then let's add a mesh. And I want to add a spring arm. And I want to enable use palm control rotation. You can really set up these this however you want your camera. Um, this is just how I'm choosing to do it. Okay, now our setup's good. We just need to add a new function for that's gonna be called set gravity. And we're gonna call it from the ring in a moment. So we want to grab the character movement component and we're going to cast to ninja character movement component. Then we're going to drag off of here and we're going to set gravity uh, spline plane gravity direction. And we want to we want to have a new input for the function and I'm just going to call this new gravity actor and then that's all we need to do on the character uh, next we're going to go inside the event graph we're going to drag off of here and we're going to set timer by event and I'm just going to go and make it a looping one uh, let's add custom event. Uh, we're going to call set uh, gravity. And from there, we're going to do a for each loop. And we want to grab the box and get overlapping actors. And we're going to get our player character BP. Oh, we can just delete those. Um, we're going to drag that into here. 
then we're going to yeah we can't set gravity so we need to cast to player character VP and from there we can set the gravity using our new function and we're just going to get reference to self and it will find what we're after uh, one thing we should check uh, probably don't want that on there okay now in the spline we won't do want to check this we want to change the default up vector to be one on y instead of one on z Okay, now we're going to go to the network player start. We're going to move that in a moment, but for now we're just going to grab our gravity and our ring inside. And we're going to grab our player. Actually, we don't grab our player character. We're going to create a new game mode. And I'm just going to call it centrifugal gravity. Game mood. And then we're just going to set it up to use the ninja player controller and the player character BP. Let's minimize that. Um, and we're all good for that. And we want to disable this. That way we don't die if we go outside the, the C limit. Okay, next we're going to grab the network player start and just so we don't have to wait forever, we're going to go to front and I want to get this as close to the ring as I can. Actually, it may be worth going like, say over here. That way we don't have to demonstrate from the bottom. Then we're just gonna hit play. Uh, so we're not gonna hit play until we delete the third person character that's in the default scene. Did I forget something? So something's wrong. Well, first of all, I'm going to go to geometry and I need to enable. Uh, we're going to change collision complexity to use complex as simple. Just make sure that you, you have the default pawn class on player character BP. Um, and that you have the game mode installed otherwise it's that something broke and it's not like you had an issue it's just something weird happens with the plugin um, but as you can see it's working now um, so this is what a ring world would be um, the only difference is for the uh, centrifugal is you want to add a rotating movement component and I'm just going to set a rotation rate to to 1 and we're going to see what it's like in simulate first okay, that's not what we're after oh and it's because that's on the wrong one maybe the other one is right I need to get closer. Yeah, as you can see, it is rotating. So if we stop and do selected viewport, then once we hit the surface, we are now stuck on it. If we jump, it's a little weird. 
we're getting hit by impulse or something, but you know, it works. Um, so that's how you do it. Um, I'll put the project files in the description, um, but you'll still need to get the plugin off of the Epic Game Store. Um, there'll be links in the description to it. Um, but either way, this should give you a start on how to put gravity in your ring world or centrifugal gravity space station. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful.